That's all right. Uh, defensively, you guys were very strong tonight. Can you talk about the, the improvement in that area? Yeah, um, you know, that defensively, you know, that was definitely a strong point in practice this week. You know, coach was harping on defensive transition and, uh, you know, running the court. And I think uh, we came out in the first half and played real solid defense, kept him, to, uh, you know, I think it was 15 points. And, you know, that's just something that we got to continue to build on. I think a confidence booster finally getting that first Big Ten win. How important was that? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely it's a confidence booster. You know, you take it day by day, and, uh, you know, it's on in the next game, and, you know, learn from our mistakes from this game, and, uh, you know, just continue to play well. You hold the team to 15 points in the first half. Um, you had, what was, I guess, the, the message at halftime? Um, you know, I remember my freshman year, we were up big against these guys, and they came back, and I think they ended up beating us in overtime. So, uh, you know, me and Verdell and the guys who have been around, like Dan and Corey and all of them, were harping, uh, you know, don't let them back into the game. It all starts with defense in the first five minutes. And, uh, you know, we came out and did that. Speaking of confidence, you guys look like you in particular and the rest of the team have a lot more confidence today than recently. Where does that come from? Um, you know, just... Uh, I think it just uh, comes from our teammates. I mean, when you see one guy diving on the floor, getting a ball, loose ball, you know, giving all effort, uh, you know, you want to give 100% effort, you know, be there for him. So it's definitely just being a teammate. How do you, how do you even know Looked how Looked like you played with a lot more confidence, especially crashing the boards. You got another double-double. Where did that come from, especially when you guys are on a six-game losing streak? I just wanted to come out and be aggressive, and um, that's one of the things I wanted to do. For myself personally, I wanted to, you know, first and foremost, I wanted to, you know, get a lot of rebounds, and I felt like I did that. I came out, got a jump with like five rebounds pretty quick, so I did, I did a good job of that. Uh, did six days off kind of get me energize you guys? Oh yeah, I mean, the coaching staff did a great job. You know, they gave us, you know, we had a couple of days off where we really didn't do much. Just they kind of gave us, gave us time to get our legs back. You know, I think that helped us today. You know, you know, we were pretty good. Did you sense Michigan getting frustrated during the game? Huh? Did you sense Michigan getting frustrated at any point in the game? Oh yeah, I did. I mean, I mean, we, we were taking some of their taking some of their main sets away, and uh, you know, I felt like they did get frustrated, but you know, they, they fought through it and they, they still kept on playing. What's a win like this do for you guys after six game losing streak? Oh, uh, it gives us, you know, it gives us. A, it gives us confidence, I guess you could say that. Um, you know, it gives us, you know, we finally got one on the board. Now we feel like maybe we can run off, you know, a couple of them, get on a winning streak, and you know, we'll see what happens. You only missed 14 shots today. What were you guys doing right out there? So what now? You only missed 14 shots as a team or something like that. What were you guys doing right? Uh, we, we moved the ball. We did a great job of moving the ball, and uh, we shared the ball well tonight, and, um, you know, we knocked down open shots. You more than double the amount of rebounds that Michigan did. What, what like enabled you guys to get that? You know, to get that. Uh, oh, that was one of our main emphasis all week. You know, uh, rebounding the basketball and defense. I mean, that was one of the main things. You know, we came out, we were very aggressive on the glass, and then we got a lot of offensive rebounds. Big is getting the crunch time there. Uh, they're making a little comeback. Um, we got a little stacking on offense a little bit, but I was just able to get some shots to the offense, uh, get some open shots, which is big for us. Uh, extend the lead and uh, keep the lead up. What was different about this week of practice? Um, I mean, we're taking it day by day. Uh, we're going hard every day. Um, one step at a time. Uh, this week we practiced really hard. We practiced really hard every day. Um, but this week, I mean, we did the same things we usually do, but uh, we knew we had to get better each every day. So that's what we did, and we were able to get the win. What was better, though? I mean, what was different today, and just what worked better in every aspect? Um, we had a lot of energy today. Um, the team chemistry was great. Defense was huge for us. Transition defense. Um, half court defense, everything that just led to more offense for us. Um, but initially, that's what really uh, got us the lead in the beginning is the defense. Did you How's sense it finally Michigan feel getting frustrated? Hmm. Did you feel Michigan getting frustrated? Um, maybe a little bit in the first half, they started forcing a little bit of shots. But um, again, our defensive uh, pressure really picked up, and um, they were able to hit a couple threes in the beginning there. Um, but this week, really hopped on. Uh, just getting, uh, getting down and playing some defense, and that's really what we did. What did you mean to have Verdell in? Five minutes into the second half, and uh, Christian just knocked down a three. You go between somebody's legs, knocking the ball loose. And, uh, what, just continuing the tone that's already been set? Yeah, um, definitely had to keep that energy up. Uh, we talked a lot about getting on the floor, diving for loose balls, that kind of thing. Um, but just making an extra play, and uh, I was able to dive through the guy's legs and get the ball, and I'm um, able to get to the V and push up the floor. So. Um, just plays like that are going to continue to help us win ball games. What do it mean to have Verdell and Christian kind of back to being themselves, really? 
Um, well, again, I think it came from our defensive uh, end, uh, pushing the ball before, getting open jump shots for them. Um, they also were able to create their own shots, but that's just their game, and uh, that's what they're good at. So uh, we have full confidence in them, and they have full confidence in everybody else on the team to make plays. Um, but together as a team, tonight we played really well. How much was that six-game losing streak wearing on you guys? Um, you know, we are just taking a day, each day, uh, one day at a time, uh, getting better every day in practice. That's all we could control. So uh, that's really what we did, and it uh, worked out for us. Do you, you look for Matt when he's out on the floor? He had a couple assists to him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, if he can get lost in the game and I can try and find him, uh, I have a lot of confidence in Matt. He's one of the best shooters I've been around, so I'm uh, always looking able to get Matt the ball. So. You hadn't taken a shot until you started hitting threes and daggers. Were you just waiting until it was dramatic, basically? And, like, uh, <laughs> I wasn't waiting. Um, I mean, we're up 15 points, and I didn't take a shot in the first half. You know, uh, I'm the kind of guy. I don't care if I score 20 points or two points. If we're winning ball games, then that's fine with me. Uh, just to doing whatever I need to help the team win. To be honest, they're the best transition team in the league, and I think that's a big way where they, you know, they were in a lot of their games against Kansas like that because of transition. So we really focused on that, and we took it away. And then, how exactly did you take that away in the first half of the game? Would hold them to only 15 points going into the half. As far as, as, far as transition, um, yeah. As far as transition, we had all five running back. You know, uh, we was watching the film uh, the last few games, and maybe one or two guys running sprinting back. Everyone's just jogging. We really uh, made an effort to, for all five to sprint back. Can we take a look back in that when people you're saying people are jogging? Finally, you guys seem to have a little bit of that confidence back. What what did it take to finally get that back? Uh, I really can't tell you. I mean, this is a spark uh, starting with practice this week. I mean, we were, we were very, very hungry to get that first W. I mean, we came out here and put it in. What was different this week practice-wise? I mean, you obviously had a whole week and no game in the middle of it. You know, what was different? I think I think our biggest thing was his energy. I mean, you know, we, we had off day and you know, we, we rested a little bit. We just came out here and we played a lot of energy. What did it mean for you to have a game like this? Basically, what, what clicked for you? Was, this has been more, this weeks. being more aggressive, you know, making the reads, coming in, watching after film, seeing what's open. Coach Bailin referred to you as your game is incredible today. What does it, how does it make you feel when a coach notices you and how your game and how it affected it? I mean, it's, it's, that's huge for him, so, for him to say that about me, but I mean, I, I thought Christian played great, and uh, I mean, Jeremiah gave a great boost, and the bottom line, Jordan's had a couple of those threes, and uh, the shot clock, uh, it's a different game. You obviously, it seemed like every time you're off the pick and roll, you had an open look tonight. Just what did you see in the defense that kind of opened those things up? And you kind of had the pick and roll, the, the five man is being flat, and I, I, mean, I knew I could either take him on or, you know, beat him or he'll back up and hit a shot. And, I mean, that's what I worked on this weekend, you know, by myself. Did you just feel like a lot more under control today? Yeah, that's something I felt as an improvement. What, uh, what did you specifically do defensively against Morris? It felt like, especially in the first half, you really kind of frustrated. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, we watched film all of him, and he was all right handed, so he's going to sit on our right hand. And if he's going to beat us, he's going to beat us going left. I mean, we got away with that. We got away with it, uh, away from it in the second half, and uh, that's, what, you know, that's how he got off. What did it mean for you guys just to get one of these just after six in a row? And, uh, I mean, it was a huge game for us. I mean, confidence booster, and, you know, it was a uh, great confidence booster for us to go in against Wisconsin Thursday.